Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name's Lauren, and in today's video, I'm gonna be shopping my closet. I do this monthly. If you wanna check out the other Shop My Closets I've done, I will leave a playlist link down below. Um, but for today's video, we are shopping my closet for three outfits that have a trench coat. So I love trench coats. It's just like the quintessential spring piece. And so I thought it would be fun to find three outfits that inspire me on the internet and then <laughs> find them in my own closet. So with all that being said, let's just jump right in. So for this first so uh, for this first outfit, I found it on Pinterest. It really drew me in because it's like got that really nice mix of casual and dressy. I feel like a trench coat is usually a very polished piece, so mixing it with sneakers always kind of gives a nice contrast between casual and dressy. I also love the mix of like structured and flowy. Again, a trench coat is usually pretty structured. It usually has, you know, shoulder pads or a structured fabric. And so mixing it with a flowy skirt is also a really nice contrast. The third thing I love about this outfit is the print. I love a pop of print. If you guys have watched my videos or subscribed to me, you know I love a good print or a pop of color. And so having this pop of print here is really drawing me into this outfit and it is my favorite color, so we love a little bit of green. So those are the things that I like about this outfit. Let me see what I have in my closet. Okay, so the first thing that I grabbed for this outfit was, of course, the trench coat, because all of these are going to have a trench coat, and lucky for me, I have a trench coat, so I'm gonna use it for every single outfit, because I only have one trench coat, and it's not even the trench color, it's this dark green. So this is a thrifted trench coat from, um, Fleet Street, and it's this like really pretty, like dark hunter green color. And then it's got, it's double breasted, it does have a tie, it doesn't have any loops or anything, but the tie does go around the waist, and it's very, very, very long. So, super long trench coat here. So that is the first piece that I grabbed from my closet. Easy peasy, when you only have one option. So for the skirt, as a reminder, I needed something a little bit longer. I wanted it to be like flowy and soft, and I was hoping for a floral. So I went for my Neely Low In, like long skirt with the side slit here. Uh, it has this like really pretty black and orange floral, and it just works. It works with the green, and I think it just gives the same vibe. Hers was a little more like A-line and like a true flowy skirt, but I feel like this is relatively flowy. It's a very soft fabric, so I think it'll give the same kind of aesthetic. Okay, next in her look, she's wearing like a gray something or other. I'm assuming it's a t-shirt because I have those aplenty, but instead of gray, I went for a white. I wanted to kind of lighten up the outfits. Since she's getting the lightness from her trench coat, I wanted to bring lightness in the t-shirt. So I went for this white Gap t-shirt. This is the organically grown cotton. I think it's called their favorite tee. It doesn't say it on here, but I uh, love this t-shirt and I think it brings in, like, like I said, the lightness to the outfit. So finally, her outfit has like a white sneaker and so I actually have white sneakers now. And so I just grabbed them. They're these Puma guys, super comfortable, would highly recommend. Uh, if you're looking for a white sneaker, these are great. I like wearing these with skirts and that was one thing that I really looked for when I was looking for white sneakers. I wanted to be able to wear them with jeans as well as skirts. And these fit the bill. So I just finished off the look with these. All right, those are all the pieces. Let's see how the outfit turned out. Guys, I'm really, really into this outfit. First off, I love the, you know, lightness of the tee and the sneakers, like kind of making it a lighter kind of looking outfit, even though the trench is so dark. I feel like this has a similar kind of color palette to her outfit in terms of the neutrals and the greens and the whites. And so I feel like in terms of color palette, it's very similar. I feel like the structure and softness is it comes across in this outfit. I feel like um, the dressy casual element is coming out here. So I feel like overall we really hit the nail on the head with this outfit and I'm super happy with it and I would definitely wear it again. Okay, moving on to outfit number two here. We have this fabulous woman who I hope I look as fabulous as her when I am her age. I love this outfit. I knew I needed to add it to this video. And so 
I was definitely drawn to the print breaking up the outfit. I already mentioned with the skirt outfit, I love a good print. I love how it breaks up a look and just gives more dimension. I love the neutral color palette with the green and the gray and the white and then getting popped with that pop color of the blue. So I definitely want to incorporate a pop color into this outfit. Finally, I love the mix of the kind of sweet shoes with the more utilitarian aesthetic of the dress and the jacket. I think that's a really interesting contrast and so I'm hoping to kind of bring in those utilitarian elements into my outfit and mix them with things that are more sweet to kind of just give that really nice contrast. So those are the things that I'm going to be looking for in my own outfits. So let me grab some stuff from my closet and I'll show you guys what I pulled out. Okay, I'm back. Just to recap, again, I'm going to be using this Fleet Street trench coat as my trench coat for this outfit because again, it is the only trench coat that I have. So that is that. And then for the dress, a little more exciting here, since the trench coat that I have doesn't have a print, I decided to choose a printed dress. And the printed dress I selected was this guy who is not buttoned, but you get, you get the picture here. Uh, it is a gingham short sleeve shirt dress. So this is where you're gonna get the Tiltarian, um aspects along with the trench. So the trench coat kind of like has the shoulder pads and like the big lapel. And then with the shirt dress, you're getting like the collar and the buttons and that also is like very utilitarian. So, uh, and then this gingham print is just adding that printed element that her jacket has in the photo. And this gingham dress is also quite long. So we're giving just like statement outfit today. So, and I feel like that's what that lady would have wanted, like a statement outfit. You can tell she's like into a statement. So love that. I think that like will go really nice together with the green, the black, and the white. It's like a favorite color combination of mine. And so for the pop of color, because I have no gloves, so I did pop shoes and bags. So first I'll talk about the shoes. So these are from Naturalizer. Oh, and that dress is from Calvin Klein. So these shoes are from Naturalizer and they're this like beautiful like poppy orangey red. And they have that like kind of super sweet shape, pointed toe, very like elongating, like ladylike. We love it. So then I was also like, I don't gloves, so let me see where else I can get a pop. So I realized I had a red bag. So this is from Target. This is, I think this is from their New Day collection. Let's see. Yes. Oh, she remembers brands so good. Okay, so this is from the A New Day collection. And I was like, oh my God, they're so close. They're best friends. They're not perfect, it's not a perfect match. Don't look too close. But from far away, like this would be up here and this is down here, oh, amazing. So I thought that was great. And so I'm getting the pop like she has where hers is like the gloves and the bag. I'm getting the bag and the shoes because I don't have gloves. And we're getting like the ladylike sort of polished element with these shoes as well. So that is everything. And um, let's see how this outfit turned out. Guys, I'm, obsessed. I am very happy with this just from first glance. Uh, again, I just love like a long proportion. I love a print mixing. I love pop colors. So this is like checking all of my personal boxes. And then in terms of the outfit kind of going back to her outfit and truly kind of being like a recreation, I feel like we have the mix of the pop color with the neutrals. I feel like we have the utilitarian kind of with the sweet. It's a little more of a sweet look, but I, I don't really mind that. I feel like hers is like a little more utilitarian, but we're close enough. And then I think we have the pop of print here breaking up the outfit. And instead of it being in the jacket, it's in the dress. So I feel like overall, this is a really good recreation in terms of the elements that I was trying to accomplish here. And I would definitely wear this again. Um, so 10 out of 10 on this outfit. Moving on to our third and final outfit. It's this guy from Pinterest. And the first thing that drew me in were the wide leg pants. I am very into the wide leg pant trend right now. I feel like wide leg pants are coming in with a vengeance. And so I was like, let me try a trench outfit with some wide leg pants and see what that looks like. And so that drew me in. The color play here really drew me in. I love a tonal outfit. I like that 
he, she has the pink with the red and then pulls it together kind of with a neutral to kind of tone it down a little bit. It doesn't feel like super out there with the neutral trend. So I kind of wanted to see what that looked like uh, in, in terms of my closet. And then finally, we have, again, the sneaker to make the outfit more casual and really casualize the trench coat. So I think with her outfit, it's like a very dressy outfit with her kind of trouser. It looks like a blouse. And then the trench coat so the sneaker really takes it from more of like a work office look to something you kind of wear on the weekends i really like how that looks and i'm really excited to try and reinterpret it from my own wardrobe so let's see what i have in my closet okay so the third and final time we have this fleet street trench coat you guys know by now so this is the trench coat i'll be using in my outfit um so again since i'm not using like a neutral i'm gonna try and find the neutral somewhere else in the outfit in terms of wide leg pants, I don't have that many options. I have a black pair and I have this pair. And so I went for this one because it's the closest and it's these kind of dark red, they look very red on screen, but they're more of like a berry tone. Um, these wide leg pants from Mango, so they're really, really long. I'm 5'7", just so you guys know. And they're this like high-waisted burgundy denim instead of a trouser so that's where i went for these and then for the top i'm not sure what she's wearing she could be wearing a blouse but i did not grab a blouse because i want to get the neutral in somewhere but also play with color so i grabbed this pizza planet t-shirt so we're getting the white in the t-shirt for the neutral and then also playing with color by bringing in this like more cherry red to kind of play with the more burgundy of the pants so i'll just show you side by side so i think this will be really like a really pretty like playful kind of color outfit combination and then for shoes she's wearing just straight up white shoes but i thought because it's, it's not like a very true red red that it would be a really kind of strange contrast like very stark a very stark contrast between the kind of berry tone and a white so i ended up with a different color sneaker so I selected these purple shoes I think this is gonna be like a nice tonal effect so with the t-shirt we went like lighter than the pant and then for the shoes we're gonna go darker with than the pants to get like a real nice tonal effect I'm not sure if the shoes will even get seen because the pants are super super long but we shall see um, and that is all of the pieces for this outfit and let's see how the outfit turns out all right, I was right. You could barely see the sneakers. They're, my pants are literally pooling on the ground. That is the one thing that's really bothering me about this outfit is I feel like I should have gotten higher shoes or shorter pants because you're really not getting the like sleek, long kind of silhouette that wide leg pants usually give. I think in terms of color play, it's really fun with the green and the red and the, the berry. I am not sure if it's like as light as hers is like I feel like because the there's only a small amount of neutral it's not like giving the same effect that her neutral trench is giving so I think overall I like how this outfit turned out for the most part I would have changed the shoes um though if I was gonna wear it again, I would have gone for a heel or something else to just kind of elongate the leg and really let the wide leg pants be the star. But overall, I'm really into this outfit and I think with just that small change that I would wear this again. All right guys, those are all the outfits. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I loved making this video. I loved all these outfits and I would definitely wear them again. And it's getting me excited for like that transitional spring dressing where you have like layers and colors and very excited. So I hope you guys were inspired. Let me know in the comments down below which was your favorite outfit or if there's a certain way that you like to wear your trench coats that you're just like excited to share um, so I can be inspired by you guys. And make sure to like this video if you want to see more like it. And make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything from me. I put up new videos every Sunday and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.